I think child abuse happens everywhere and probably somewhat at a consistent level across economic and social barriers. It's one of the few crimes that pretty much is not necessarily related to status, race, economic bearing. It kind of has to do with more like a primal sexual urge. I mean, the short answer is God was in the same place he always was. Looking back, by the time I outcried and, and told someone about my abuse, I'd actually spent more time on the earth being abused than I had spent time on the earth not being abused. It really didn't feel like abuse, it just felt like a way of life. There were a lot of times I thought like, Job's life didn't seem that bad to me. I read Job as a child and thought, God just messes with some people and I'm one of those people. Everyone says like, God has a plan or thy kingdom come, thy will be done, or things that were kind of like ingrained in in, in Sunday school, until it hits the fan or until your life falls apart, until you get the diagnosis, until you hear the outcry, until you actually are faced with real trauma. And then you're gonna have like a, a front row seat to like what your faith actually means. My abuse emboldens my faith, not tear it down. I understand this world's broken. It's similar to the cross, like when the Roman culture was based around brutality and torture and they used the cross to, as, a, as an emblem of fear. So they said, this cross stands for brokenness, this stands for torture, and this stands for submission. And with this cross, we're gonna control you. And Christ said, no, with this cross, I'm gonna free you. I mean, it's definitely, uh, yeah, it's, uh, nostalgic is such the wrong word. It's almost like a lifetime ago. I haven't been back in that house since I was nine. And it's the same thing with my story where you see uh, Christ come in and say, what you think is the worst thing that's ever happened to you and that will destroy you will actually be the thing that builds you up and makes you unstoppable. What your abuser thought he was doing to mold you will one day transform you into someone who will get on a level with a pedophile, get him to confess to everything he's done, and make sure he never breathes free air again.